Uh oh. Uh oh. Logic fighter. We to oh no! Please, I'm not looking so good for the new Kagomer. Well, this is exactly <laughs> what this is exactly <laughs> what the devs want. Oh, that's not. Nice. Oh, 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 that old bullshit like pop, man. Jake, are you watching? Yeah, yeah. Shit, that God, this is so fucking cool. Everyone else besides the NC is fuck. immune to damage. The NC almost like just fucked up 300 points, Naz. Of course. Yeah, like underneath. Hard shark, are you seeing this bullshit right now? Dude, yes. <laughs> man, just, man, just new Why, Why are they all, they all immune to damage? Man, just fall, <laughs> fell in the river, like I said. Because it's <laughs> the PTS dog, that's why. <laughs> so many fucking over his strikes. Oh, it's a lab just threw through the bastion. Nas, right. I can guarantee you that the oh, killers you are not killing the mosquitoes. I oh, I'm ejecting. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm ejecting. Goodbye. Hey! <laughs> Defend the bastion, boys. Oh, Jesus. We're gonna die. We might be going down. Oh, no, I think we're immune, actually. Oh, yeah. You might actually. Yeah, here you are. Thank you, Dabs. Very cool. No, we've, got, we've got one hard point left. I don't know if it's taken down. Let's get ready to rock! We've been hit by like four orbital strikes since. Oh, it's orbital oh, strike on the hot plate's gone, boys. Oh, no, we're going to be able to Bail, bail, bail! Bail, boys, I'm in the queue again, do we? Fucking leave! I spawned! Oh shit, I got killed as I oh left. Get your fast! I think the fucking drop pods. Before this video begins, please let me state that mostly everything in this video was recorded in the public test server. That means any bugs or glitches that you see is not the final product and it has most likely been fixed. Also there has been a significant amount of cosmetic changes and additions in the PTS. Let me cut right to the chase and I'll be straight up with you. For almost a year now, Planetside has just felt stale and not the same to play. But Daybreak, or should I say Rogue Planet Games? Just announced an update that makes the game 1158 times more fun to play. Oh! It includes two new maps, a player population and coordination increase with just them showing off the update, outfit specific perks that you could call in from the sky, and these big ass floating aircraft carriers that give me major helicarrier vibes from Avengers. That's man's playing Galaga. That man is playing Galaga. <laughs> <laughs> no, there needs to be a Gallagher reference in here. Has to be. Nah, we gotta add. Red Ravens, we must deploy our guns. And that man's playing Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> the main focus of this update is on the, in my opinion, most important part of the game. The outfits. Outfits are basically just another name for clans, like what you would find in any other video game. The reason why outfits are the most important part of Planetside 2 is because they give you a group of friends to play with and make and keep the game very social to you. I'm going to have PTSD episodes for this. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me how it all started. Well, you see, we tried defending Ixtab water purification. I'm a Hassan veteran. Takes out bottle of vodka and sets it next to the couch. I feel you, man. I feel you. <laughs> sure, you could run around and just shoot things. I mean, that's kind of how the game works. I mean, look at Battlefield and Call of Duty. Works fine for them. But joining an outfit makes the experience so much more fun. And easier to play at that. So along with the Sanctuary and the new A7 currency, comes Outfit Wars on a new continent, battleground, or whatever you want to call it. It's called Desolation, which includes Outfit Wars seasons and soon-to-be live streaming the competitions. We get outfit crafting and outfit armories complete with badass power-ups or abilities or whatever you want to call them exclusively for your outfit <laughs> capturing territories and getting your outfits name on it finally is worth something and last but certainly not least my personal favorite addition is the bastion fleet carrier right by the battle pass for one for apex Alright, I'm going in for a strike! Wish me luck, boys! Okay, so first up, I want to go over the Sanctuary. The Sanctuary is just the social hub that Planetside 2 never had, while all the other MMOs had one. At the time of this video, the Sanctuary has vendors, some weapon terminals and warp gate terminals here and there, and NPCs on how to join squads and outfits. This man looks like he would fuck your shit up. <laughs> that man's shooting you in the head if you talk back to him. Alright, so there's the TR guys, where the fuck's the NC guy then? <laughs> Uh, yeah, here. there's no entity guys yeah, there in is. here. Where are we in the furthest corner away from everything? <laughs> so, the TR's in the command room. <laughs> I mean, theoretically, oh, yeah. Personally, I hope this helps the new player experience because, let's face it, Planetside 2's new player experience isn't the best. But another thing that was added in in the sanctuaries 
is new currency and new items to buy. Now, the items themselves aren't very new, you just couldn't buy them before. Sometimes you would win them on alerts, and they would be given to you by chance. But now with the new A7 currency and new mechanics they put in, you can actually buy them. The way it works is you play the alerts, you win the A7, and you stock up on it. Or you can go around and look for A7 nodes and decrypt them. So far in my quest of searching, I've only found one node. And it's literally just a blue light that stands out on like a prop of some sort. It could be a computer, I think it could be a box as well. You hold E and decrypt it, and then press E again, and then you get your A7. Save up enough. Go back to the vendor in the sanctuary and get an extremely unique item. Okay, now onto the outfit wars. One match consists of three factions, three outfits, and up to 48 players on each team. It takes place on a separate continent called Desolation that's actually not even on Araxis, it's somewhere in space. It's a very open and, well, desolate battleground. First team to 500 points wins, and points are generated based on how long you hold and how many you hold of the relics. The relics are the bases. Fortunately, I did get to try out the Outfit War on the PTS. Only problem was, is that I was the only person online in the Outfit War. But still, I got to go on Desolation and see what it's like. Now here's one of the big things that people are excited about in this next update. A complete overhaul regarding the Outfit system. It all starts with the new Outfit Loyalty Progression System. To give you the gist of it, fight alongside your Outfit, be active in your outfit, and conquer territories with your outfit, and you get this new currency called Merit. Being inactive for long periods of time in your outfit decreases the merit that you have. Thankfully, it's only a slow decay, though. You can have up to 20,000 merit, and it's used in one of the vendors in the sanctuary to get cosmetics that aren't player studio made. This is the closest thing we'll have to outfit uniforms. At least, hopefully, right now. Next is they're adding an outfit armory system, so you can craft different things based on the income that you receive from taking over bases. Among the items that you can craft are anvils, orbital strikes, giant citadel shields, and Bastion Fleet Carriers. Oh, and probably one of my personal favorites is the Steel Rain Coordinated Drop Pod Attack. Pick a point on the map, and all squad mates that are not in vehicles will redeploy and drop onto a point almost simultaneously in Drop Pod. There is a 30 second wait before the Drop Pods actually drop, but it's still extremely useful for the outfits that want to play tactical. Onto the Anvils, which basically are crates that contain vehicles that you drop from the sky. The Citadel Shield is just a shield that blocks projectiles that, again, you call in from the sky. It can't be destroyed on the outside, but it can be destroyed on the inside. Other than that, it lasts for six minutes. You got orbital strikes, but I'm sure you guys already know how that works if you watch my Halloween video. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, no, run, 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 and this is my favorite. This is like what I've been waiting for since I started playing Planetside in 2015. The Bastion Fleet Carriers. 8 weak points to destroy. 13 fireable guns. 48 players. Anybody who leaves the Bastion gets an Interceptor Fighter. For outfits to use only and creates amazing air battles. All awesome. Craft the four main components of this bad boy and you can have a battle that's more epic than the Battle of Coruscant. Alright, we're going for the VS-1. Right, Let's go boys. Fires, boys. Engage! Yeah! Oh my god, they're running away. They're running away. <laughs> they're like, shit, shit, shit. Oh god, the Tars have showed up. They're <laughs> fucking fleeing. Woo! Oh god. I mean, if you saw this many angry rednecks, wouldn't you be running? <laughs> this is, this is yeah, very true. So true. Let's broadside them. Yo, this looks sick. I just see- oh, that's awesome. Okay, real quickly, how you craft all these things? You take over territories and participate in battles. Each base is worth resources that you put towards crafting. The longer you hold a base under your outfit's name, and the more bases you hold, the longer you'll generate and the more you'll generate of resources. Okay, I think that sums things up pretty well. I had a blast testing this update on the PTS. I'm having a blast playing this update now with my outfit. And I only lead a 100-man outfit or something. With an average of like one squad on at a time. But Planetside feels better than I've ever played before. So get on, join an outfit, be active in your outfit, or join my outfit and be active in my outfit. Discord link in the description. And just have a blast. The servers are so populated right now. We've had all four continents open. This is the time to play. And I cannot wait to see what the devs have in store for us next. Hey, love.
Hey, 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 hey,